All right, today uh, we're gonna build this design in Flutter. Uh, so let's just get started without further ado. Uh, I'm gonna start with body, uh, and I'm gonna uh, add a column, right? Column, and we'll have children. It's going to be widgets, and I just want to add my image in a container. So I'm gonna add a container here container and we will have image that assets it's going to be assets uh, house that jpeg and I have that image in the assets directory and I configure it in the pop spec that yaml so it's going to work um, all right. Uh, but I want some padding around this container, so I'm gonna wrap this with the padding widget. Select that container in the action menu, wrap with uh, the padding. Alright. Uh, but I don't want all padding, instead, I'm gonna add from left top, right bottom 20, uh, 50, 20, and 50. All right. Refresh it again. All right, it's perfect. It looks good. Now we need to add this part, right? Um, so after this padding, I'm gonna add another column, right? Another column, and we'll have children widgets. Right, and we will have text. Uh, all right, nice. But we need a couple of uh, elements in here in the same row. So I we need to use row here, right? We need to say row, children, um, widget, text. And we need another text real quick. Text and it's going to be month, right? And we need an icon here, icon. It's going to be icon. Uh, I'm gonna add, let's say image, it's going to be icons, image, something like that. I'm, I'm not gonna uh, deal with icons right now, I'm gonna use a default icon package. And that's all about it for this raw, and let's go to the next raw, which is this one, like the next column part. So I'm gonna go out of this row right here, and I'm gonna add a text, and the text will be CT crystal, crystal, like that, perfect. And it's going to be uh, Highland Lake FL. Highland Lake, Lake FL, perfect. Uh, but I don't want this to be centered, instead I just want to be in the start point. So I'm going to come here in the column and I'm going to add cross axis alignment, cross axis alignment, start. So it should work. Perfect. Um, and we have another row here. So I'm going to add this row right here, a row. And so we children widgets and in here um, we will have icon right icon and it's going to be icons bat right and the color will be colors of blue um, perfect right here I'm gonna add a text text and it's going to be three, like that. And yeah, I'm gonna 
copy all these things like that, paste it here. Alright, we've got three icons and text in the same row. Alright, we built the structure of the project basically. And now it's time to give some style for these elements. So let's start with the price. Um yeah. So I'm gonna come here and uh say style. It's gonna be text style, text style, and the color will be blue. Um, font size will be 28 and font weight will be bold like that perfect and for this month uh, I'm gonna add like let's copy that real quick and Right, uh, it's not going to be. What's the problem? Yeah, we need a parenthesis here. Exactly. Uh, we don't want that the blue, but instead we want that to be gray. And it's going to be. No. Maybe yeah, something like that. And that's it. So, let's make it bigger, text bolts, uh, which by the way, this column needs some padding, right? Like as you can see here, this image has some padding around it, and this has also some padding as well. So I'm going to come here and wrap this with the padding widget, right here. So wrap with the padding image. Padding widget, and I'm gonna add a left top right button. And the left will be let's say 30, top will be 20, 30, and 50. Uh, not bad. Like, let's make it zero for now. And yeah, not bad. I'm gonna make it 30. Alright, perfect. Um, now we need to edit this image as well, like image icon. Where is that? Uh, right here. I'm gonna add some color. That color, color will be blue, and size will be uh, I don't know, thirty maybe. Yeah, looks fine. I'm gonna add the size box here, size box, it's going to be width, uh, 150 maybe, of course we need to add a comma, uh, something like that, yeah nice, uh, alright that looks good, so let's adjust this text and icons now. So for this text, let's come here and basically I'm gonna copy and paste this style right here. So the font size will be 30, maybe yeah 30 and the gray will be 800 uh, maybe 700 or something yeah doesn't really matter but SD crystal font size 30 font weight font weight bolts perfect and we need to add a size box here as well it's going to be height and yeah, 
add this to here as well. 20, good. Let's make it 50. Alright, let's adjust these icons. Um, size box will be width five, maybe three. Right, that's completely fine. Maybe we can give a little bit more space here. Let's give it 15. Yeah, maybe much better. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, really, that's that's really all about it. Uh, we we done with the design, and now I want to duplicate this. Uh, thing or cards or whatever and being able to scrolling down right uh, so we're gonna be using the list view which I show you in the previous video so I'm gonna basically uh, copy this this padding right or pad this padding until this here I'm gonna copy that, paste it in here, and we're gonna have another of these cards. I'm, I'm gonna call it cards, right? Uh, but we're getting out of the wheel, so as I showed you in the previous video, we're gonna be using a uh, list view instead of the column widget, and it should work. And now we can scroll uh, down and up. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Mission completed, bro. Uh, but in addition to that, I want to separate this code in different files to make this cleaner, right? So I'm going to create a new file right here. New file. I'm going to call it, I don't know, house. Right, yeah, house. Dot dart. And I'm going to import the default uh, flutter package, package, flutter, uh, material dart, and I'm gonna create a stateless widget real quick. I'm gonna call it house, and I'm 
I'm gonna copy this padding from here. Actually, we already copied that, so I'm gonna just paste it right here. Actually, that doesn't work. Uh, let me check that padding. We're gonna get that. We're gonna get this here. We're gonna get that column as well, bro. No. We're gonna get that padding Yeah, we're gonna get that column exactly. We're gonna get that column and paste it in here. Like not here, I'm right here. Why well, it doesn't work, bro? Actually, it's work, but okay. And oh, we forget that, bro. So going to be a list view it's going to be have children and I'm gonna call this house perfect and I'm gonna call this again Right, perfect, it's working. Now what I've done here is basically separate these files in here uh, so we don't have to type a lot of things each time we want to duplicate our image, right? Of course, these are not dynamic for now, like each house card is static, has static image, static price, names and all that, right? But we can make it dynamic later on, right? Uh, so basically that's how we design uh, the Flutter app and make it scrollable, scrollable, right? But that's it, right? We built a simple application together. How cool is that, right? Uh, but that's it. It's scrolling properly. That's it. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.